In a heterogeneous society such as ours in Nigeria, that has close to 350 ethnic groups that speak more than 250 different languages, a deliberate effort must be made to blend the differences in the cultural and behavioral idiosyncrasies to reduce conflicts and misunderstanding that often rise to the barest minimum, if not totally eliminate them. The marriage institution seems to be helping to fill the vacuum that had existed in this regard for quite some time now. Cross-cultural marriages, which have taken deep roots in the country, are happily providing the necessary ingredients for a much more harmonious relationship among people from different divides whose tribes and tongues differ. Thanks to the egalitarian disposition of our useless days, who predicate their choice of a life partner primarily on love rather than materialistic or ethnic considerations, living some difficult parents with no choice other than to play along with them in most cases. Other parents have simply jettisoned their primordial mindset and embraced the new idea of love is where you find it being stoutly propagated by this new generation Nigerians. Harry Uchuko Okoro, a civil engineer, and Akpolade Madeline Azazi, a development consultant and daughter of Nigeria's chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Azazi, belong to the new generation bracket of Nigerians who believe that for us to move forward as a nation, we must play down on our ethnic sentiments. Not minding their ethnic differences, the bride, an Ijo lady from Bayasa State, has decided to live the rest of her life with her husband, who is an Urubu man from Delta State. It is interesting to note that the proud parents on both sides, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Andres, the father of the bride, who is an Ijo man from Bayasa State, and the wife and mother of the bride, Mrs. Alero Azazi, who is an Ishikiri woman from Delta State. On the other hand, the father of the groom, Chief Okoro, is an Urobo man from Delta State. His wife and mother of the groom, Chief Mrs. Okoro, is an Igbo woman. Therefore, marriage is joined together four different ethnic groups in Nigeria. The marriage of the Okoros and Azazis has brought the Urobos of Delta State and the Ijos from Bayelsa State together. The bold statement being made here is that what God has joined together, let no politics put asunder. We therefore hope that the Robos, Ijaws and Ichakiris will forge a new beginning from now henceforth. Flag Staff House and official residence of the Chief of Iman Staff and Father of the Bride, which was venue for the traditional marriage between Harry Uchuko Koro and Akpolade Madenazazi, could pass easily for a fashion parade of the best and most exquisite Niger Delta attires. It looked like a subtle competition between the men and women. Adorning very high quality lace materials over top of the range George wrappers and latest accessories and shoes to match. Most of the women look their very best, while for the men, in their trademark long lace material over equally high quality George wrapper, a bowler heart or resource control caps, a swagger walking stick to match, also showed that they were in tune with the latest trend in the Niger Delta fashion circuit. This is not to say that fashion statements were not made by people from other parts of the country, albeit to complement the predominant fashion trend at the event. To kickstart the traditional wedding of Harry Uchukro Koro and Medlin Akwalede Azazi, members of the group's family stormed their in-laws the building grand style and waited eagerly for the Azazis, whom they exchanged pleasantries with on arrival. The wives of some service chiefs attended the event in solidarity with the mother of the bride and wife of the chief of army staff. They included wives of the chief of naval staff, Haja Fatima Adeke, the inspector general of police, Mrs. Ehindero, and chief of air staff, Mrs. DK. Madam Azazi, mother of the chief of army staff, who had a special privilege of witnessing the marriage of her granddaughter, radiated the feeling of perhaps the happiest person at the event with her graceful looks.
Cola nuts, which the groom's family brought in large quantity, were presented and blessed as tradition demands and passed around to everybody in the two families. As I say in these parts, he who brings cola nut brings life. As is customary, the groom's family was asked to categorically state what their mission was at the home of the Azazis. At that juncture, the groom Harry Uchuko Koro was formally introduced as that young man who had the elfin tree to ice with the hand of the daughter of the chief of army staff in marriage. The ceremony was blended with a heavy dose of traditional music of the Urobos, Ishakiris and Ijoz, who were the major stakeholders in the matter. After the groom's family had sufficiently convinced the bride's family about their seriousness to pursue the matter at hand uh, to its logical conclusion, what with the rich array of dowry items on display and the heavy delegation of men and women of substance in their company, it was then time for the green light to be given for appearance of the bride. Amidst very hearty singing and accompanied by a retinue of our friends and senior wives of the home, the bride, who looked really regal, gorgeous, and majestic, decked in red beads and very attractive lace and wrapper, which sat very well on her, showed up in a blaze of glory. The atmosphere became charged as Urobo and Ijo songs took over the air, and dancing and singing became the order of the day. The beautiful bride sat with her parents throughout the formal aspect of the traditional wedding. To be sure that it was not a decision the bride took with her eyes closed, she was asked in the local Ijo language if indeed she has made up her mind to marry her husband, to which she answered in the affirmative and received a thunderous applause for it. In a gesture of gratitude to the bride's family, the groom, his father and selected members of their family collectively thanked the family of their in-laws and also danced heartily to demonstrate their joy at the occasion. At the guiding of the flag house, where a reception was later held, it was a carnival of some sort, as Barris the Smooth, a worry based the John Musical Outfit and a number of other cultural troops entertained everyone. parents and other well-wishers join in the dancing at every turn. The highlight of the reception was the catching of the wedding cake, which are the dummy of the way the couple turned out at the occasion on it. The assignment was perfectly carried out by Governor Donald, Duke of Cross River State, who was ably assisted by a number of some observers who had to fall back on their wealth of experience in marriage to appropriately advise the couple later. One, two, three. The fathers of the bride and groom were full of joy as they expressed their gratitude to everybody for their contributions and success of the marriage. They admonished their children to strictly observe the tenets of good marriage for a lasting relationship. Chief Ebitini Banigo also added his voice of gratitude to everybody who came for the event 
as they looked forward expectantly to the wedding proper. Catholic Church of the Assumption Falamo Ikoi Lagos, which has played helps to a string of celebrated weddings in the past, added yet another wedding that will go down in history as one that drew the largest attendance of the movers and shakers in the society on Saturday the 20th of January 2007. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Azazi and his wife, as well as their in-laws, the Okuros, really basked in the goodwill and solidarity of friends, relatives, associates, colleagues and well-wishers from far and near as they give out their children in marriage. A music rendition of solemn, soul-lifting hymns by the choir and the entire congregation as everyone looked forward with high expectations to the formal solemnization of the holy matrimony between Harry Uchuku Okoro and former Miss Madeleine Akwaladi Azazi, daughter of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Azazi, who looks every inch a fulfilled father in measured strides, walked his beautiful daughter down the aisle and handed it over to her husband as the congregation looked on with admiration. More soul lifting hymns rent the air afterwards, which led to the very solemn aspect of the service, which was when the couple said their marital vows and exchanged wedding rings in the presence of the officiating minister as everyone looked with rapt interest and attention. In his sermon at the service, the officiating minister congratulated the Azazis and the Okoro families on the wedding of their children, while admonishing the young couple he advised them to always live in the ways of the law and shun third-party interference in their marriage. During the Thanksgiving session, Friends and associates of both families trooped out in their numbers to join the couple who radiated a lot of joy as they sang and danced acknowledging chairs from different guests who honored them with their presence. The couple was then specially blessed by the clergy before the recessional hymn that signaled the end of the church proceedings. As the bride and groom left the church, they acknowledged the chairs and pleasantries from some members of the congregation were radiating smiles of gratitude and accomplishments all the way. Outside the church, the couple had rounds and rounds of photograph and video sessions with their legion of admirers, friends, colleagues, relatives and the likes, which will now serve you in the usual unique, inimitable, trademark, all-inclusive BCO Lightly Show style. Enjoy it.
Command officers messed Marina, which was wearing a very captivating and attractive look, complemented by the beautiful color scheme chosen for the decoration of the venue, which gave it a graceful ambience, just perfect for an afternoon of fun and excitement with the cool and unadulterated breeze straight from the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, presented the right atmosphere for the grand reception for a wedding which had all the trappings of an A grading in all areas of packaging of the best event. The smartly dressed ushers who looked really special in their attires positioned themselves strategically in different parts of the venue as they helped the guests to their seats with broad smiles. And for the guests themselves, it was easier to notice those who could not register their presence at the event for one reason or the other than begin to reel out the names of the diverse legion of those who honor their Azazis and the Okuros with their esteemed presence. The cosmopolitan disposition of the Azazis and the Okuros came to play in terms of the attendance of their guests, who came from Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, and other big cities of the country and elsewhere. It was indeed interesting to see the array of those who came to the event displaying the rich and extremely fascinating Niger Delta identity, since it was mostly a Niger Delta affair anyway. The latest fashion of both men and women was on display at the Azazi Okoro wedding. Let's remind ourselves again that the union involves four distinct ethnic groups in the country, the Robos, the Shakiris, the Jaws, and the Ibos. There was good music to savor as guests settled down for the reception and awaited the arrival of the bride and groom eagerly. The arrival of the bride and groom, as usual, in company of their groomsmen and bridesmaid, as they shook it down to the music that ushered them into the arena, practically woke up everybody, and that indeed signaled the commencement of the reception, which was chaired by retired Colonel Array, the Director of State Security Service, and long-standing friend of the father of the bride, who himself was an officer of the Intelligence Corps of the Nigerian Army, before his appointment as the Chief of Army Staff. The chairman congratulated the families for the encouragement given their children to take the plunge into this interesting lifetime voyage and wish the couple all the best as they begin the arduous navigation of the delicate and emotional waters of marriage. A lot of creativity and ingenuity was put into the design of the cake which took everybody's breath away and the bride and groom indeed had the golden opportunity to show to the world once again how fond of each other they really are as they held and tatted to each other all through the exercise. The terrorist of the couple was another interesting aspect of the event. The love story of the couple is a very short and simple one spanning less than a year. What captivated me was her smile. You know, her smile was very, very radiant, you know. A smile that symbolizes the light that you see at the end of a dark tunnel. It's a smile that says one thing that means so much, you know. So after that, I wanted to her again. And um, we saw her and we just kicked it off. You know, she's the first woman that I've ever been myself, totally. 
you know, and um, um, she's everything I am and everything I want to be. She's, she's fantastic. I feel so blessed and I don't know, I just feel so blessed. Humble family, you know, they just um, opened the doors and accepted me immediately like part of the family, part of their son. So it's, they are a very fantastic, you know, family and I'm, I feel blessed and um, privileged to be part of the family. I finished from IFE and I also went to the University of Bath. Um, right now I'm a development consultant. I'm consulting for the Bielsa State Government. So what course did you read? My first degree was in economics and the second one was in international development. Romantic, um, self-giving, very playful. Everything, everything seems really good, really nice and I'm very, very thankful to God. Marriage is about tolerance. Marriage is about commitment, marriage is about love, marriage is about sharing and uh, forgiveness. Those are the things that will carry on the marriage. Like the chairman said, we married for 31 years. And if you don't have the element of those things, but above all, you must be close to God to make sure that your marriage is sustained. To give her their daughter. But I think it's also important that you look back at life and say, I've been blessed by God, immensely by God. I want to thank God for everything that's happened to you. It's not just about giving out your daughter, it's about the whole process of your life. I'm very convinced they love themselves very well. So I only want to pray and wish that they continue to love themselves. They, they are very compatible. That's what made us parents agree that they should get married and live together well. They are very, they are very close. The throwing of the bouquet of flowers by the bride was another engaging part of the ceremony which evoked a lot of excitement from the audience. The groom demonstrated that he was fully in charge when it was time for the bridal dance as he made it a strictly just for the two of us affair. Before they were later joined by others like their parents and relatives and friends. The groom father brought his abiding love and burning passion for his wife to bear in his response to the toast. It was as if he drew a lot of inspiration from the looks on her face as he responded to the toast. It is therefore safe to say that these two have definitely found love. Our prayer is that they should remain friends to each other forever with all the good things that marriage brings to the bargain. The very exciting marriage between Harry Ochuko Okoro and former Miss Akwalade Madling Azazi, daughter of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Azazi, came to a fascinating end with the exciting music which everyone partook in to the very end. We congratulate the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Azazi and his wife on the success of the wedding of his darling daughter. <laughs>